Employees here in New York who work for tips could see a raise of more than $2 an hour by the end of this year. The state's wage board voted today to propose a raise from $5 up to $7.50 an hour. Now that's compared to the federal minimum of $2.13 an hour for tipped employees. Hawaii is already up at that proposed $7.50 mark. Tipped employees in nearby Ohio and Pennsylvania already make less money than the employees do here in New York. So the question now, how would this proposed wage hike affect your favorite restaurant or bar? Eyewitness News reporter Sierra Johnson is live tonight on Chippewa in Buffalo. That's right, I am here on Chippewa. Just how much those tipped employees take home at the end of the night. Well, it's a little scary at first. You sit there and you, you start calculating the numbers and how it's going to affect your overall bottom line and how you're going to make that up. And Donald's bottom line could soon see a change if a proposal by New York's Labor Wage Board is accepted by its commissioner. That proposal is recommending a 15% increase in wages for tipped employees, raising their minimum wage from five bucks an hour to seven fifty by the end of the year. The servers there to smile, work for their tips as their dollar an hour. Wage really doesn't support them. It's what they work for is their tips, and that's the major portion of their of their income. Today, Governor Cuomo addressed the issue, saying for far too long wages for tipped workers have been too low, and these recommendations would rectify that. But not everyone agrees these increases are best for businesses. In a statement released by the New York State Restaurant Association, the latest recommendations could have far-reaching negative effects on the state's restaurant. Industry. The president of that organization went on to say that this decision will limit small businesses' ability to create jobs, decrease pay of non tipped employees, and also reduce hours for those employees. And here in Buffalo, the owner of Curly says at some point businesses will have to make up those profits. But seeing servers compensated for working in what he calls the toughest industry is a positive thing. On the other hand, you feel good about rewarding your employees for the hard work they do, especially in that wage category. That's right, and I was able to talk to several servers off camera, although their feelings were mixed, mixed on the issue. There was a common theme. Many servers were afraid that if the wage was to go, was to increase, rather, they were they have a fear of customers not tipping. Um, keep in mind, this is just a recommendation, and it has to be approved by the wage board's commissioner before anything goes into effect. We will continue to follow this story online and on air on WKBW. Com. Reporting live, Sierra Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News.